Ricketts is a coastal fishing community situated on the southwest of the Freetown Peninsula and one of the three islands that make up the Banana Island. The public disclosure of the Environmental Impact Assessment, EIA study, for the proposed seaport in Ricketts Island by the gentle group of companies is an opportunity for the project affected and interested persons to assess the report if it favors the environment and their livelihoods to qualify for the EIA license from EPA. Chief Executive Officer of the Gentle Group of Companies, Mohamed Gentle Kamara, maintains that during construction to completion of the global transshipment hub, there is potential of directly creating between 10,000 to 20,000 jobs. He added that with the other developments that the ports will attract, over 100,000 jobs will be created indirectly. We're looking at um, about one to 1.5 billion dollars and all, and um, we, it's, it's a huge project. But when you look at the cost benefit analysis, you know that yes, you know, this is a, it's, it's a project that will change the face of Sierra Leone, it's a project that will change the face of West Africa, and it's a project that will benefit Africa and the world as a whole. Morocco, which is at the top, um, North Africa, they have a depth of 18.5 meters. But here, we're going to get a depth of 20 to 24 meters. And um, to have a depth like that, what does that mean? It means we're going to attract bigger vessels, and then, you know, it will benefit the country because more bigger vessels will come. The biggest vessel, container vessel now is owned by MSC, which is um, 24,000 containers vessel and it requires a depth of 18.5. That will com comfortably sail in here with this depth of um, 22, 24 meters. The Ricket Island, with a population of approximately 200 to 300 residents, has a primary but no secondary school, leading to lots of dropouts. There is also no health center. However, with the intervention of Mohammed Gento Kamara, the island now has a secondary school, hospital, and community center at their final stages of construction. Community headman at Banana Island, David Jones, is satisfied with the environmental, social, and health impact assessment study because the benefit analysis is greater than the negative impacts. Inside this island, we now look for rich breast milk, table nut Dublin, Nothing like development, not in a complete virgin island. Me and the Bay, the government of Sierra Leone, and all concerned, let them put their hands together for making this port build now. As a fishing community, some of the locals say, even though a little portion of the fishing environment will be affected, but they are happy for the massive investment. I will make me fish and go value. I will go meet with another new people um, and we border them will get a very good job and we go make we big with tourism business will go higher level. The man then go get job that's self. They have a petition that will be pants so go get job to do. I can miss us be out for do catering, so myself go get work for go achieve for me picking them. The gentle even program don't come. And, and complete now this new island, I believe the um, employment will be for the youth. At the conclusion of the two-day public disclosure meeting of the Environmental Impact Assessment Study at Waterloo, inhabitants of the Western Area Rural District and Banana Island endorsed the study and the seaports project and urged EPA to issue out the EIA license to the gentle group of companies. With all the tech issues so we highlight in the, 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 the recommendations and the, the measures where they say that's in place in relation to this ISHA study. We accept this ISHA studies and we still say this project will go on. Yeah. 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 If we didn't say we all accept, now we do that by we, what, what we go as we hand them off. The project will make provision for petroleum storage facility of 200,000 metric tons. 
CEO of Gentle Group of Companies, revealed that the transshipment port will add 5% to the country's GDP annually. Salifu Kamara, AYV News.